Has this ever happened to you? You've tried editing the themes in the Angry Birds game to help make your own mod, only to find that when you get to the sky and the ground, you got the original default colors in here. And you may find that a bit um, infuriating, especially if your theme is based at nighttime. But fear not, as there is a solution to this. And that is what I will cover today in this video. It's been a while since I made a tutorial, and I hope this one will be quite useful, as this is a fairly simple fix, and all it involves is having a few simple pieces of software. Um, I will give a link to the in the description to the files that are required, and also a framework you'll need. This is called the JDK. Uh, that'll also be in the description. Um, so when you download the uh, zip file I provide in the description, extract it to the Angry Birds slash data slash scripts folder and have all the files here. That way you can start working on them. So the file we're looking at in particular is blocks to alleyway. Right now I'm running Angry Birds 1.0.0 for this tutorial, but I will also show how to do it in later versions. So take blocks.leua and drag it over decode.bat. Now we got this text document. Open it with whatever software you want to use. I'm going to set the language to LUA since that's what it is. And scroll down to get to themes. Uh, so what I modified was the poached eggs theme for this video, and that is theme one. Now, usually uh, when you're going to find another theme, they should be in the order that you play them in the game. Um, for example, this is uh, episode one, part one, episode one, part two, episode one, part three, episode two, part one, episode two, part two, and so on and so on. Because like they're listed four, five, one. Like, like that's basically how you would know. And if you're importing your own theme, well, you really need this tutorial. I mean, all you're here for is this is this. And this is what we're going to change. So this is the color for the sky, and it's just RGB. Um, now you're going to have to get the color for that, um, whatever your image is in the sky. And I'm going to use a program called paint.net to help find that. So I'm going to go to the sky here, and I'm going to get my dropper tool and get the hex, uh, no, well, RGB value. Hex is a different thing. Uh, although, uh, yeah, this is the hex value if you wanted to know, but we're more curious as to this. So 109, 51, 33. That will fix the color of the sky. Now, as for the ground color, I'm going to be sampling this color right here in the ground, the darker part. This gives 0, 7, and 3. So I'm going to save that now, and we're going to replace the original blocks.leua file. So we've renamed it to replace, and now when we open up the game, we should see it's fixed. And yep, it has been. The ground is flush with the, the, the image. The sky is seamless. Now, let's say you have a different case. Uh, if you have a newer than 1.0.0 Angry Birds version, you may notice that it is not the same. Because if you open up blocks.leua, you get all this jibber-jabber, rather than at least seeing LUAQ, and even if you do, you know, send this through the file decode, it's blank. So, this is because it is actually encrypted, and you have to complete one more step before it actually works. So, just take blocks.LUA and drag it over file decrypt, then take this and drag it over decode. And with that, we now have our file. So, like before, I'm going to open it up and set the language to LUA. I'm going to put in my values again that I forgot. 073. And 
and 109.51.33. Save that. Now we're going to take out these other two. I'm going to rename this, but not done yet. Because I have to take this and drag it over level encrypt. And now we can delete this one and restore this one back. This should do the trick. Sure enough, it does. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, simple and hopefully straightforward tutorial. Um, I decided I'd make one today simply because I had an odd number of fan or file submissions. And so I was like, you know what? It's been a while since I offered something helpful. I, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful for your own mods. So that is all, and thank you for watching.